from above the landscape stretches into vast rice fields swaying under the sun. It is from these fertile plains that farmers harvest millions of bags of rice, nourishing countless families across Kenya. But hidden in this abundance lies a stubborn challenge, rice husks. A byproduct of milling one of the world's most consumed cereals, rice husks are tough to break down. Their high silica content makes them resistant to decay, leaving farmers in the Mount Kenya region, particularly at the Mwea irrigation scheme, struggling with how to dispose of them. For years, these husks piled up, choking the environment. Today, however, a new story is being written. Non-profit organizations, including Kilimo Trust, have stepped in with an innovative solution, turning waste into wealth through the principles of the circular economy. And um, the kind of uh, uh, wiping out of all these husks from the mills around has been phenomenal. Because, for instance, the machine that you saw there that is doing the carbonization of these husks he is able to actually do uh, a number of tons, over five tons of rice husks per day. This process turns the husks into a stable form of carbon, locking away carbon-related gases from the atmosphere. So if you are able to store away carbon, this is the best way to store carbon in the soil for centuries without that carbon ever getting released out to the environment. Now, instead of being discarded, rice husks are sold by millers to local youth groups. These groups collect and transport the husks to central processing points, where they are transformed into biocharcoal. Through value addition, the biocharcoal becomes an organic fertilizer, returning to the very rice fields where the cycle began. Because of this product, the soils are able to harbor what we call effective microorganisms or good microorganisms that are very good for the soils. So the soil life comes back because the microorganisms are able now to inhabit the soils because even the soil structure is very good for them. For farmers like Jennifer Wawira, this has meant healthier soils, stronger harvests and better yields. I have been a farmer for over a decade and struggled with soil acidity for many years. Despite using various fertilizers, I saw little improvement. One day, I met a young person involved in biochar fertilizer production, which led me to attend a training session. There, I discovered the many benefits of this organic fertilizer, and it has since transformed my approach to farming. For young people, it has opened up new job opportunities and fresh prospects, keeping them engaged in meaningful, environmentally friendly livelihoods. Before, we used to use some other small kins which were not environment friendly, but we had to do that since we needed to make some money, we needed to make some profits to, in order for us to cater for our families. Uh, we used to use some other kins which used to produce a lot of smoke, and like now, we have a machine that normally produces biochar with no smoke. This one is much efficient compared to the other smaller kings. From stubborn waste to fertile wealth, the journey of rice husks is reshaping farming in Kenya. And with Kilimo Trust's vision to scale this innovation across East Africa, what began in central Kenya could soon transform the entire region. Mm -hmm.